What's up you guys, Jedi Master Josh here, and today we're going to be opening up the brand new set, Stellar Crown. Now it's finally out, it's finally fully released, you can go out and buy it at your local game stores and stuff. It's been out for a little bit over a week now, but we have ourselves an ETB here with Terrapagos on the front. Pretty awesome, it's a good looking ETB, the blue is is very uh, very nice looking, very good, to, very good to look at. We'll set that off to the side because we also have two of the three-pack blisters. These are also brand new product. Tinkaton as one of the promos, and then Latias as another promo, which is pretty cool. Latias is going to have a bunch of cards in the next set, so Latias is definitely getting a hefty feature coming soon. But let's go ahead and throw those off to the side. We'll dig into this ETB first get out all the packs, and then we'll rip open those three pack blisters, get out all the packs, and just bust them all at the same time. But let's take a look at what we got in here. Now, Stellar Crown is turning out to be a uh, pretty interesting set. It's got a lot of playable cards. It's got a lot of really cool artworks and so on and so forth. So I think, I think it's a really good set, personally. We can look at this ETB booklet and go to the back and take a look at the set as a whole. Now, there's that Hydrapple EX. A lot of people are, you know, playing that it's seeing a lot of play pretty pretty nifty there we got ourselves a lapras ex that's also pretty interesting there's a blastoise and venusaur reprint in this set we got galvantula we got ourselves a couple other cool exs now the big one <clears throat> that everyone's talking about <clears throat> excuse me is this terrapagos ex so this is pretty awesome if we pull one of those that'd be pretty cool but we also have a couple of ace specs thrown in there and you know just a bunch of other really cool cards, but let's dig into the Mac. Let's take a look at these illustration rares and special illustration rares. They're pretty awesome. We got ourselves Hydrapple, Galvantula, Lacey, Briar, Terrapagos, and Doxbun as the special illustration rares. And then as far as the illustration rare goes, we're looking at Bulbasaur, Ladian, Lilip, Tur uh, Turtonator, there we go, Raboot, Squirtle. The Squirtle and the Bulbasaur, obviously, two, like, really huge cards right now, but I really like the Raboot also. I think he looks really cool. Check him out. All right, cool. We got ourselves a Zara Aura, an Ulcery, just a bunch of really cool cards. Let's go ahead and just dig in, quit talking about them, and let's take a good, hard look at them. We'll throw that off to the side. Dig into the ETB. Now you're going to get nine packs out of the ETB, just typical Scarlet and Violet. Uh, elite trainer box fashion, right? You know, we got nine of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I always count my packs just because I've had that one, uh, you know, that one odd pack where uh, that one odd box where I didn't get all nine for some reason. Let's go ahead and dig in here now. The promo is, is all of a sudden now coming in a packet with the dividers. So the dividers and the promo are all being put into the packet together. The only thing I haven't seen yet is if the code card is in here. I don't think it is, but let's go ahead and set that off to the side. That's pretty awesome. And then see if they put the code card loose in here. No, I'm guessing the code card must be in that packet with the uh, with the promo card because it's not in the ETB. But that's okay. All right, we're going to throw that off to the side. We're going to go ahead and dig into these three-pack blisters as well. I'm trying to make this a quick video, you know, just a short video just for some fun, see if we can pull something cool and talk a little bit about Stellar Crown. And there's a ton of new sets coming out also that are already being, you know, uh, being shown off and showcased by Pokemon. So we've got Surging Sparks, which is the uh, English set, which will be a combination of both Paradise Dragona and uh, some something else. I can't remember what the other one's called. Something Live Voltage or some something crazy. <laughs> it's not. It's not even close to that. But it's something something that features Pikachu. There's there's Pikachu in there. But <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and get these three packs out of our three pack blister. Hand you guys this code card for the Latias. Pretty awesome. And then we'll take a look at the Latias. Throw that away. All right. Check it out. Something about these uh, this era of promos that I love is that, so we've got a swirl here on the artwork, but if you look really close, you can find swirls on the borders too. So there's one there on the border, and then there's another one right here on the border. Pretty pretty awesome. I love finding the border swirls. That's pretty sick. But we're going to put that off to the side, little promo action, Latias, and we got ourselves three more packs. Now, we also have ourselves a Tinkaton promo. Tinkaton... Um, I think the Tinkaton EX and the other single prize Tinkaton are probably better options if you're going to play Tinkaton, but this one's not bad either. It's got an attack that does 220 damage. It's, it's kind of good. It's 
kind of good for a one prize Pokemon, right? Now there's other options out there that do more damage and stuff, but hey, if you're already playing a Tinkaton build and you just tech one of these in there, why not? Now the only issue is, is it does do 60 damage to itself, and it takes 3 energy to do it. But knock off to discard a random card from your opponent's hand, that's also pretty broken. We already handed the code card out to you guys, get rid of that, bye bye. And we got Tinkaton going into the uh, pole pool, the promo pool, whatever. I don't see any border swirls on this one though. Oh well. Not too bad though. Still really good looking artwork. Alright, alright, that's enough of that. Let's get into our packs. So we've got ourselves 15 packs here to get through. That should be plenty enough to get get something good, right? We got to pull, you know, one illustration rare, maybe a special illustration rare. Ooh, now that would be sick. All right, here's a code card for you guys. Let me know what you're getting from the code cards, and we'll toss that off to the side and dig right in. We got ourselves per ugly to start. We got a Fido. I really like the Dox Bun. The Dox Bun illust uh, special illustration rare, really cool in my opinion. Maybe we pull it today. We'll see. We got Marowak. We've got Duraludon and a Rhyperior. Now, these new energies are also really cool if you guys haven't seen these yet. Really, really hoping that they make a, uh, a holographic or reverse hollow version of these energies because they're really cool. It's almost like a like a cracked ice thing. I know it's meant to be more like the Stellar Gem. It's supposed to look like the Stellar Gems and stuff like that, but still kind of reminds me of cracked ice. And haven't seen any cracked ice things in a, in a little bit, so it'd be, it'd be cool. But okay, we're going into our next pack here. A little code card action for you guys. Let me know what you're getting from the code cards as we toss that off to the side. And we start with a charger bug. A little charger bug action. We got Salandit, Yamask, Carnivine, Revivroom. Let's see something good here. We got Briar, Azumarill, Nimble, Little Panseer, and a Blastoise EX. Now, it's a pull. We're happy to pull pulls. But the thing about the Blastoise EX and the Venusaur EX is that these are reprinted cards. So these cards came from 151. Blastoise and Venusaur EX, they are both from 151, and they are reprints, which is kind of sad, but still really cool cards, plus you can't go wrong with little Blastoise and Venusaur action, right? I feel like Pokemon just felt bad, because they printed so many Charizards for the past, like, two years, they're like, okay, let's reprint, <laughs> let's just reprint the Blastoise and Venusaur, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you know, perfect trade-off for the, for the other two Kanto starters, right? <laughs> Give Charizard the prime real estate in the market and then you know blastoise and venusaur they're here we, yeah we, we made cards for them there's a code card for you guys toss that off to the side and we got ourselves our third pack we've got salandit we've got ourselves a wooloo which can be shiny in pokemon go now so definitely go check out your wooloos we got eldegoss ride on an impidimp and a raging bolt the long neck look at the long neck all right and behind that little metal energy action not too bad all right, so we're three packs in. We've gotten a Blastoise EX. That's that's not horrible, but it certainly isn't great. Let's see if we can let's see if we can do a little bit better here. Um, I would love to pull the Squirtle or the Bulbasaur. Haven't pulled those yet, so uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Everyone that has pulled them, go ahead and brag. Pretty awesome. We gotta go ahead and toss that off to the side, and we're gonna, we're gonna pull one today though. One of those will be in these packs. I'm I'm sure of it. Right? Hopefully. Maybe. We got Diplin. We got Mian Shao. We've got Salazzle. Drift Blim. Little reverse Applin action. Little reverse Reshiram action. That's pretty awesome. And a Bufalant. Now, this might just be one of those normal hollow rares to everyone else, but this is actually a super playable card right now. Uh, in Terrapagos, the Terrapagos EX deck, uh, a lot of people are playing this card. So, uh, yeah, lots of people going around and trying to buy those right now. If you guys have a bunch of extra Bufalants. Um, and you're looking to get a couple extra dollars or make some trades. They're pretty good uh, for trades and sale right now. Let's go ahead and dig into our next pack. We got Galvantula on the pack with that Stellar Crown, right? The Stellar Terra Crown. Stellar Crown. Get it. All right, there we go. We got a, we got a code card for you guys going out. I'll shut up. Okay, we got an A-Spec in this pack. I already saw it. It peaked out a little bit. But let's go ahead and see if we get something good. We got Clink, Turtonator, Payapa Berry, Reshiram, Swalot, and a Grand Tree. Not too bad. Now, this is a pretty cool uh, a pretty cool card, actually. Uh, once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a Stage 1 Pokemon that evolves from one of their basic Pokemon, put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it, and if that Pokemon is evolved in this way, that player may also search their deck for a Stage 2 Pokemon that evolves from that Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it. Then that player shuffles their deck, 
players can't evolve a basic Pokemon during the first turn or a basic Pokemon that was put into play on this turn. So, really, really cool card. I don't think it's, like, super broken. Uh, not like the Force of the Giant Plants or whatever that old card was. But this is still really, really good. And uh, I could see this being used in quite a few decks, actually. Because uh, it doesn't limit you to rule boxes or non-rule boxes or anything like that. It just says basic to stage one and then stage one to stage two done pretty pretty insane all right so behind grand tree we have ourselves a salandit reverse and a mel metal with a little metal energy you need the metal energy for the mel metal right he's got he's got to have it and it's just kind of the way the way the cookie crumbles but let's go ahead and dig into our next pack here of stellar crown we got terrapagos yeah, or, well, I don't even know if you'd call it the EX there on the pack, but it's, it's a Stellar Terra, either way. But we got ourselves a code card for you guys. Toss that off to the side. That skimmed the corner of the table as I threw it. All right, cool. We got Grubbin, Grieverd, Joltik. Now, this Joltik is actually really good. So, Jolting Charge for one colorless. Search your deck for up to two basic Grass Energy and up to two basic Lightning Energy and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. That's insane. That is, like... That's super hyper acceleration. Pretty cool. We got Toad School, Glass Trumpet, another one of those really ex good cards for the current format. We've got Kofu. I think it'll see some play. I think this card will see some play. We got Iron Boulder, a Dreadnought with the Impervious Shell, and another Dreadnought with the Impervious Shell. <laughs> little fire energy. Dreadnought just spits on that fire energy. Hack and I'm never gonna do that again. I I I absolutely hate that. Alright, we got we got we got Cinderace on the next pack here. I love Cinderace. Cinderace was my choice of starter from Gen 8. Let me know what your guys' choice for starter was from Scarlet and Violet. I mean not Scarlet and Violet, Sword and Shield, excuse me. <laughs> from Sword and Shield. Let me know from Scarlet and Violet too. Let me know what your choice starter was from every generation. That sounds pretty awesome. I want to see a list, like a list in the comments of everyone's choice starter from each generation we got grubbin and the cinderace ex full art all right check that out now that's pretty awesome there he's super super sparkly crazy sparkles on that cinderace that's pretty awesome 280 damage with flare strike pretty nutty and then garnet volley this attack does 180 damage to one of your opponent's po oh a little bit of a bench snipe all right cool we'll go ahead and throw that up into the pool pool with 320 hp Cinderace is a bit of a dog. He's a bit of a tank. He's a bit of a dog. Actually, he looks more like a cat, but let's go ahead and dig it too. <laughs> it's a rabbit, right? It's a it's a bunny? Yeah, because score bunny, raboot, Cinderace. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. It's a rabbit. It's not a cat or a dog. All right. We got a code card for you guys. Let me know what you're getting from the code card. I'm, I think we have another A spec. We have another A spec. Sweet. Let's go ahead and see if we can get something good here. We got Milsuri. We got Veluza. Tornadus and Crispin. Behind it is the Sparkling Crystal. Nice. Not too bad. So when the Terra Pokemon this card is attached to uses an attack, that attack costs one energy less. That's pretty insane. That That is actually really, really good. I think there's a lot of Terra Pokemon that can use this and use it to their advantage you know like charizard even could use this because it's a terra dark you know and so if you just one like think about that if you play against like iron thorns ex and they remove your ability and you can't infernal rain to charizard well that's okay if you attach the sparkling crystal and attach one fire energy you're ready to attack pretty awesome and <laughs> we got briar and another mel metal not too bad all right, so far we're doing a lot better. We're doing a lot better than I thought we were going to do after the first couple packs. But, you know what, two A specs and a full art Terra, not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and see if we can get something good from these next few packs. We're only like halfway through. we got plenty of packs to go. I'm kind of chatting a little bit too much, a little chatty. A little chatty today. I just, I just threw that code card and didn't even give it to you guys. One second. Hold on. There you go. There's the code card for you guys. Toss it back off to the side. All right, and let's see if we get something good. I already see an EX in there. I think it's an Archaludon. We got Milsery, or not Archaludon. That's in, that's in the next set. That's in the next set. It's, it's something like that, though. We got Salazzle, Lantern, Lechonk. Love little Lechonk. We got a Root Fossil, not too bad, and a Doxbun. I was way off. I was so far off, <laughs> but it's Doxbun. All right, not too bad. Would really love to pull the special illustration rare for this. The special illustration rare, in my opinion, is 
one of the better arts from the set. I know everyone's, you know, oodling and oodling over Terrapagos and Hydrapple and Briar and all this stuff, but the Doxbun EX Special Illustration Rare is so good. It's a good card. I like that. It's very nice. But let's go ahead and dig into our next pack. See if maybe we can, uh, you know, manifest it and bring it to the table here. We haven't gotten any illustration rares yet. So, I mean, we have to see one eventually, right? Hopefully. I mean, we're opening 15 packs. Come on. We got Ponyta. We got Rhyhorn. We got Double Wool. We got Eldegoss, Lantern. The first reverse is a Rhyhorn. Then a Chewtle and a Rhyperior with the wide wall. I think, uh... I think there's a couple people out there looking to build some wide walls, huh? No, just kidding. All right, no walls, just Rhyperior. We got ourselves another Stellar Crown pack with Cinderace on the pack here. I love Cinderace. We just talked about it, but I'm I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep saying it. I mean, there's a little uh, Score Bunny right there, and some some at some point in the video, Smoliv rolled off the table. Smoliv has a mind of its own. I don't know why it wants to do that. It just like gets on a roll and takes off sometimes. There's a code card for you guys. Let me know what you're getting from the code cards if I haven't said it before. And I know I have. You know I have. You guys all know I've said it way too many times. So just let me know in the comments. We got ourselves an Electivire, a Diplin, a Lapras, and a Zara Aura, which has a pretty cool illustration rare in the set. I think we were looking at that, you know, at the beginning of the video, right? We, were, we, we pointed that out. Sure. Okay, we got four packs remaining. Let's see if we can get lucky with these final four packs. We got Terrapagos on the pack. Now, the thing about Terrapagos is um, it seems to be like it's going to be a, a pretty playable deck. A lot of people are really hyping it up. I don't know if it's going to be as great as everyone says it's going to be, but uh, it definitely looks good. It looks good. It looks, uh, it looks solid. But uh, I haven't even pulled a single Terrapagos EX yet. Not even, not even a base rarity. So hopefully we get one out of this box. That'd be pretty cool. All right, we got ourselves a Varum, we got Drifloon, Clink, Hoot Hoot, Briar, definitely a useful card. We got Azumarill, we got Reshiram, Alcremi, a Joltic Reverse. Hey, that's pretty awesome. It's got that attack there that allows you to super hyper accelerate energy. And we got an Archaludon. So all of your Pokemon that have metal energy attached have no retreat costs. Not too bad. There is an Archaludon EX in the next set. So... We're going to get it. It's going to be called Surging Sparks, I think. Something like that. And uh, there will be an Archalodon EX in that set. Came out in Japanese in Paradise Dragona, which is one half of the next English set, Surging Sparks. I keep forgetting what the other one is called, though. So if you guys want to let me know in the comments, please do. There's a code card for you guys. Let me know what you're getting from the code cards. I just I just want to know. I just, I, I just want to know. I want to hear everybody open the good stuff, you know? Let's see what we got. We got Veluza, Swalot, Payapa Berry, Lily Perverse, a Turtonator Illustration Rare. Not too bad. We were just talking about how we need an Illustration Rare from this box, and we finally got ourselves one. It is Turtonator, too, with a Ring of Fire and Inferno Onrush. Not too bad. Four energy, though, for 180. Holy schmoly. And it does 60 damage to itself. That's a that's a lot. That's a, that's a tall task. All right, we'll throw that up in the pool pool. We get a Cray Dilly and a Lightning Energy. Lemons. All right. Moving on to our last two packs here. Final two packs, the penultimate pack with Lapras on it. Let me know what you guys are thinking about Stellar Crown. What you guys think about the Scarlet and Violet era in general. What you guys think about your favorite Pokemon cards, your favorite sets, your favorite Pokemon. Anything Pokemon re related, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to read about it. I love reading your guys' comments. Let's see if we can get something lucky from these last two packs. We got a code card going out to you guys. RBJ. Okay, throw that off to the side. We got Salandit. We've got ourselves a Diplin, a Panseer, Metatite, not too bad. We got Payapa Berry, Reshiram, Swalot. We're moving into the reverses with a Cyclozar, a Duraludon, and a Raging Bolt, the Long Neck. We already talked about the Long Neck. The Long Neck is, uh, I think he might be growing on me. I might I might be liking Raging Bolt a little bit more. He's, he's all right. He's not so bad. All right, let's dig into our final pack, Last Pack Magic. Wish us some luck. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Subscribe, like, all that nonsense, whatever. If you don't want to, then don't. I don't really mind. It's okay. We're just here to have some fun. And if you guys are having fun, I love it. That's what I like to hear. We got a code card for you guys. Let me know what you're getting from the code card. Are we going to guess an energy? We'll say grass. Fighting. Okay. Shouldn't have done that. We got <laughs> we got Phalanx. Love Phalanx. Phalanx had a raid day recently. Get shiny Phalanx in Pokemon Go. Awesome. We got Perugly. Fido. Can we get something good on our last pack? A little last pack magic. Let's see. We got Glass Trumpet. Now, that's pretty good. 
We got ourselves Talon Flame, a Reverse Raging Bolt, a Reverse Swalot, and a Kara Costa. Not too bad. We got some pretty good pulls from this box. We got two two A specs from the same box. That's actually pretty insane. I haven't seen that before, but let me know what you guys are pulling, if you guys are getting all the insane cards, and what you guys think about Stellar Crown as a whole, and I'll see you in the next video.